hi everyone it's me again pure African beauty i'm back with another video um uh, a tutorial on braids single braids um so i just wanted to show you i've already started doing my hair and i'm just left with like just this bit of my hair so yeah i'm just gonna do a tutorial and show you how i managed to do this um hairstyle um, so the hair i'm using is called free dress deep twist if you can see that so um, I've used um, this is the like the third packet so I've used three packets um, this color the one which is highlighted is the color TP 1B350 and so I've used uh, two packs two packs of 1B in this another pack of this color so I've used three packs. Um, so what I did, because um, uh, the braid is quite long, so I had to cut the long braid into three pieces. And then, yeah, because I wanted the look to be short. I didn't want them to be too long, so I wanted them to be like very, very short. So yeah, you'll see how short they are. And so I'll just show you a technique that I've learned here from YouTube because um, my hair, as you can see, is quite long that's where my hair is not long so my hair is quite up to there so um the braids actually end somewhere there as well so i wanted to cover all my hair because i didn't want to leave all my hair out and so yeah i've seen um this young lady here on youtube doing this technique she's got natural hair so she wanted to cover natural hair because she was using this curly hair so she didn't want her natural hair to pop out um, so she used some kind of technique to cover your hair uh, so that it looks smooth and nice so that's what I just did because I didn't want my hair to you know to be left out I just wanted all my hair to be covered because I don't want my hair to break right now so yeah so I'll just show you the technique that I learned and how I do these braids so if you're interested in seeing these braids do stay tuned uh, so I'll just separate my hair Just use this to clip the remaining hair, like so. Okay. So this is how long it is, like so. Okay. So I'll just stretch it a little bit. Just pull it like so, just a tiny bit. And then I'll just begin braiding. Like up to there because I'm not doing proper pick and drop because as I said I want to cover all my hair because my hair is just the same length as this so what I will do now is I'll separate a bit of the hair like uh, not my real hair but the extensions a bit of the extensions like this and I'll just Keep it there and braid and get a little bit more from this side and I'll keep it and okay, keep it there. It took me a while like to master this technique you guys. It so it was quite difficult for me. So now what I'm doing is just braiding all the way down.
see what I mean? This is what the hair looks like. So it's got some left over here. There. This is the left over here, the one that's not uh, been braided. You see, and that's my hair. Some little bit of some extensions there. So I'll just continue doing this. And I'll show you the finished product soon. I'll just do another one for you. As I said, I'm not gonna use, I don't normally use this technique of um, going around my hair. Um, but for this braid, I have to because I don't want it to start coming out. So I'll braid just a little bit like you do, like how you braid when you're doing a pick and drop. Up to I'm gonna okay, so up to like this much, okay, up to like this much, and you just have to make sure you know where your real hair is because my real hair is right there on this other side. So I'm just gonna separate a little bit of hair from this side and keep it there and keep braiding and get some more hair from the other side and keep it there and just braid the rest of your hair going down all the way until your all your hair is covered okay So as I said, it took me ages to master this um, way of braiding since I've never seen it being done before and I've never done it before. So it took me ages and it took me ages to finish my hair as well. And uh, so I did my hair over two days, like in, not over two days. I did my hair in two days actually. Um, that was quite stressful. But anyway, I'm done. So here is the finished look. Hope you guys, you like it. This is the finished look guys this is so beautiful I really love this hair I hope it will hold its curl pattern 
for a long time or it will own tango i've never done this before i've seen many people using it for um seen many people using this hair for um crochet braids so i just thought i'll give it a try to do some single braids sort of um pick and drop so this is what they look like so that's my hairline I tried not to make it too tight but anyway it's a bit tight so I hope it won't break my hair oh, let me come closer to you guys so you can see so as you can see you can't really see the braids I was doing like as I shown you that you know if you leave a little bit of your hair um, definitely the other left out hair will cover all the braids because you see that's the braid and the left out some hair so there's hair which is not um braided throughout so this is how it looks like this is the side view and this is the other side with the highlights this is so beautiful i love this so you can wear this anyhow style it anyhow um I'm really pleased with myself you guys this is so nice I'll just turn around and I'll show you what the bag looks like this is beautiful hair So yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my video and i hope i've inspired someone and i hope i've made the video as simple as i could because as i said this was my first time doing this kind of hair this kind of braids and the way the method i used is the first time i've used it as well so it took me quite a while to master it so i hope i've explained it very well to you guys and i hope you've enjoyed my video and please rate comment and subscribe for more videos